Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Infinite Trade. My name is Robin and let's do our Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis for tomorrow. So I've already recorded a weekly analysis video and I've posted it last night. So people who have missed to watch it can watch that. So this particular video will only be based on uh, tomorrow's analysis. So let's begin the analysis and let's see what should be the plan for tomorrow. So the firstly, we always check the participant wise open interest. So let's quickly check that. So here we go. Uh, just a second. Yeah, the participant wise open interest is here. So firstly, if you look at the futures open interest, what happened on a Friday, uh, FIs have closed a small quantity of long position. And at the same time, they have closed a good amount of short futures. Okay. So if you remember, on Thursday, also we saw that uh, future shorts were closed. Okay. And similarly, on Friday, also we can see that some future shorts are closed. So, you know, closing the shorted futures itself says that market is not bearish and, you know, they're slowly, gradually removing the short positions from uh, the market and secondly if we have to compare the long and short ratio uh, we still have a lot of shorted futures left in the system okay so we must keep that in mind and secondly if we look at the call options we can see that they have uh, their net long in call options which is about 5700 and they have net short 5900 puts and exactly similarly uh, you know pros also hold some call long but they have good amount of put short but both the positions are you know limited it's not uh, a very strong position because Saturday, Sunday, we have a weekend and due to some global uncertainties, uh, it is a scare for them to hold too much of positions. So these positions are decent. So in case if market opens, you know, against their view, they can easily manage it with the kind of position that they have. So keep this in mind. But overall, uh, you know, market sentiment as of now, at, uh, at least our market, it is slightly bullish. Okay, so keep this in mind. So they have call long. That means they are expecting a gap up opening, or maybe you know, if the market opens flat, they expect it to move uh, on the higher side with some momentum. And at the same time, uh, they have put shots, which means that downside seems to be limited. So as of now, this is what it indicates based on their positions. So now let's quickly move on to the chart and discuss what should be the plan. And just let's slightly check uh, the option chain. Okay, so this is the option chain that we have. Uh, so left side is nifty and right side is bang nifty. So the put call ratio of th these strikes, so these strikes are basically 10 strikes up and 10 strikes down from at the money. So it indicates bearishness and again on Nifty also it indicates bearishness. So when I say it indicates bearishness means uh, actually it is slightly increasing. Okay, So initially we saw that they were around 0 0.48 to 0 0.5 right now it has moved around 0 0.72 but still in the bearish territory so whenever anything wrong happens chances of fall is definitely there okay so once they hover around 1.0 to 1.2 is when we'll you know understand that the market is sideways but right now we are still in the bearish territory but if you check the overall put call ratio like the total number of strikes it indicates 
bullishness because a lot of positions must have been taken far out of the money. So that could be the possible reason why it shows bullish in Nifty and Bank Nifty. But usually for analysis, 10 strike up and down is more than enough. And if you look at the white chart, uh, we can definitely see that, you know, put writing has been happening in the market. So put writers are definitely trying to, you know, save the market which was not happening before, but now we can see that even in on an intraday basis, we can see a lot of put writing happening and they're also holding their positions. So overall market is trying to take an halt. It is not planning to take a dip, but when we can expect a dip is something which we can discuss in the chart. So if you look at the uh, daily chart, so Nifty has formed an inside candle here. Okay, if you look at this, so this is an inside candle. So I think uh, people who know technical analysis, they know what is the, uh, like how to trade these inside candles. So if this low breaks, then definitely we're expecting a good fall. So what is that fall? We'll check out in the lower time frame and you know once we cross this we can attempt this high but once this high is crossed is only when uh, market will run on the upper side for some time but right now you know breaking of the lower side seems to be easier so let's move into a smaller time frame and check that so I'm moving into a five minutes time frame, activating all my lines. Okay, cool. So now what we can see here is, uh, so once this low is broken, we can see a sharp fall uh, but in this case once we cross this area which is 16550 so once we start trading below this area that itself will indicate that you know market is in trouble so there is one possibility that it can you know fall slowly here and then reverse back if things are okay but otherwise, you know, if it starts making lower high from here and then if it breaks it, then we can see some further fall. So where will the fall halt? So this is a previous day low and this is the inside candles low. So once we break this range, we can easily expect Nifty to come up till this place, which is around 16,250. Okay. So let's zoom out a little. So your first target would be somewhere around 16,3340 and then 250. Okay, because uh, we haven't filled this gap yet. So there is a possibility we may see a small bounce from this gap. So people who wish to book their position so this is also a good place to book around 16 340 okay so what is our plan so below 16 550 we'll see if it is forming lower highs okay if we see that we can take an entry based on the price action we'll buy a put and we will stay until it takes support at this place. Okay, if our SL hits somewhere in this place, then definitely we are out of the market and market may again go sideways within this area. But in case if it takes a bounce and then comes back again, and if it breaks 16,440, then we can see a fall until 16,340 and then next target to be 16,250. Okay, so 
this should be our view in nifty and yeah i just remember that i saw hgx nifty which was already trading lower uh, let me quickly check what is so hgx nifty is already 169 points down and it is somewhere close to 16480 that means somewhere around this level okay so if it takes support at this level okay say it opens here and if it takes support here and if it is crossing this high uh, risky traders can buy a call option here and they can trade up to this place uh, which is around 16550 if i'm not wrong yeah 560 so until 16560 okay but only for risky traders why are we doing this it is basically because uh, we saw that fii's and pros they both have put sell hence we are expecting this bounce and once we book it here and then we'll see what is the future price action and we can trade accordingly so this is a plan for nifty tomorrow and uh, anything that if you wish to buy call then it should be only above 16670 okay above 16670 you can buy a call option your target should be 16815 or 16800 now let's quickly discuss bank nifty and if you remember like uh, on thursday evening i couldn't record a video but i posted on the telegram channel that market can be sideways on friday and exactly it uh was completely sideways on friday so these were some things which was you know derived from the data and we expected that market can be sideways and it did so for bank nifty if this low is broken so which is around 3460 Okay, if Bank Nifty breaks thirty four three forty, we are going to take a put position. So our first target would be somewhere around this place. Okay, so this place happens to be thirty three seven fifty. So thirty three seven fifty, and then eventually thirty three three fifty. okay so this should be a second target uh if this target is achieved like 33750 is achieved in the first half you can book your position and then uh you'll see a bounce okay that bounce if it confirms a lower high you can take another position for the downside rally that can happen in the second half but like we discussed uh if we see any gap down and if that gap down it takes support at this place which is around 33925 or 34000 and if you see that bank nifty is moving up and if it if it breaks this high you can take a position here and you should book your target somewhere close to 34 uh what is this level somewhere near 34400 okay but then if in any case if it opens flat or slightly gap down and if it breaks this place we'll definitely buy a put here and any call position should be taken only above this range so what is that range let me check so call position should be only above 34700 and your first target is going to be 35000 So this is my view on Nifty and Bank Nifty for tomorrow. Let's see how market performs. So tomorrow, what FIs uh, create the position uh, will determine the uh, direction for the coming week. So thanks for watching. Let's meet in another video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.